Oh dear. Oh no! Four left! Oh dear. Oh, that's going so far left. 245 feet, oh. and three inches left. It might be so far left that you're in the fairway on the next hole. What's going on, everybody? Now, just because you are a woman in the game of golf does not necessarily mean that you should be playing women's golf clubs. And we are gonna dive into that a little bit today and show you why. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf, joined today by a special guest. This is Emma Carpenter uh, from the University of Minnesota women's team. Um, Emma, we have a fun one today uh, because uh, you are one of those players. Uh, you're a female golfer, but absolutely do not fit into ladies golf clubs. And so there's, there might be a, a misconception out there for a lot of female players. They go into the store and they just grab uh, women's clubs. Uh, but we know from club fitting, and I know you know well by now, that, that not, that's not always necessarily the right play. Yeah, absolutely, Drew. I mean, I would say there's probably a lot of women who don't mm -hmm. fit into, into women's clubs. Yeah. It's really all about the specs. It's about, it's about the head, it's about the shaft, it's about the weight and the mm -hmm. loft, all of it, the flex. So, I mean, it has really nothing to do with being a man or a woman. It just has to do with what works for you. Right, so. right. I was actually talking off camera to uh, someone you know very well, Larry Bobka, and he said, uh, you know, I actually fit closer to these ladies' clubs than Emma does. And so, <laughs> um, so today we're going to show why, though, because uh, you have your gamers here with us today. And we have, these are the Ping GLE2. So I have the 7-iron, you have the driver, um, as you can tell already, just by lifting the clubs up and by looking at the loft even, too. Not even close to what you're playing. And so you're going to hit some shots with these. It's going to feel a little different. And then we're going to have you hit some shots with your gamer driver and gamer 7-iron and I imagine it'll be pretty different. <laughs> uh, I think it will be too, Drew. Yeah, definitely a lot of differences here. So I'm kind of, I'm interested to see what kind of shots it's gonna produce. All right, well, I think if you're ready to go, we'll hit some shots. We'll see what the TrackMan data tells us and then we'll show those stark differences to the viewers. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so Emma, you've got the GLE2 7 iron in your hand. That, um, what does it feel like? What does it look like to you compared to what you're used to? Yeah, it's, uh, it's light. It's whippy, mm -hmm. it's pink, <laughs> um, yeah, definitely very different to the irons that I've got in my bag right now, so really interested in, uh, to see w what kind of shot's going to yeah, come from, yeah, from I, hitting this. I guess, I mean, I would anticipate you might swing a little bit faster, Yeah. I would imagine also that dispersion will go get a lot yeah, larger. Yeah, I won't be able to... Yeah, I won't but, be able to keep it on the planet with this thing. But I guess there is that small chance you do hit these better, and then they got to go. You got to put them in the bag then. So right, right. I I'm mean, gonna, I'm gonna, I didn't. I'm gonna bet against that, but didn't realize we're doing an iron fitting today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if if I came, if I went somewhere and someone put this club in my hand, uh, I'd be a little skeptical. Yeah. You know, just because, like we said, just because I'm a woman does not necessarily mean that I right, should be right. playing ladies' golf clubs. So what, uh, like, numbers-wise, what are we thinking uh, you usually kind of have for your, <laughs> for your gamer? Yeah, so... Because like, I would imagine you're going to hit this harder because it be is probably stronger lofted right, a little bit. Right, right. And it's also going to be way lighter. And well, so... Yeah, that's kind of the thing that um, is really important when you're looking for... Uh, when you're looking for an iron set that fits for you. I mean, it's got to be the right weight and the right flex. Yeah. Um, otherwise, the dispersion, like we said, is gonna yeah. is gonna be huge. It needs to be able to um, to go straighter. When it's heavier and it's stiffer. Yeah. Um, when I, I switched from graphite, that's what really yeah. narrowed in my dispersion. Helped right. me hit it a lot, yeah. a lot straighter and a little further because it's a little yeah. heavier. Um, this one's super light. I actually. I was like, I, that was pretty I good. That shot. one pretty good. <laughs> That was. Yeah, now, so hey, well, that's a tiny sample size. It's so, a fluke. That's you know, a fluke. Yeah. yeah, that's the that's the shot that keeps you coming back. But it's the <laughs> it's the other ones that are a little a little frustrating. It's loud. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, there we go. That's about right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got kind of a, a funny sound for sure. But that one, um, you know, on the course, like. I, if I made that exact same swing with my club, it would 
probably be pretty straight. straight. Yeah. Maybe just a little draw. It's yeah. the fact that like with this one, I just can't because it's so whippy yeah. and I'm swinging it. Yeah. Well, swinging it 80, someone with yeah. your speed, probably, it has the timing has to be so perfect. Right. With yeah, um, with right. a club that flexible and that light to match mm -hmm. it up and make it go where it's supposed to. Right. Well, so I mean, this one I'm I'm swinging it, um, you know, 82 and a half miles an hour. Um, to be able to time that up, like yeah. you said, is like is very tough because I mean, the, it's literally yeah. like whipping out of right, my hands. Right. I don't know where the club face mm -hmm. is. I can't. No. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's the huge challenge with you know other other females that might be in your position. Sure. There's another good ball. Oof. Wow. I mean, it's going <laughs> very high. It is. Very it's going high. high. And I now I don't know uh, exactly, but numbers wise, is that a lot further than your gamer seven iron? Um, geez. I mean, it's definitely further. Yeah. Um, because the issue then too, run, if you uh, your player would run into would be gapping eventually. Yeah. You know, if you're hitting, if a, you know, female player is hitting seven iron that far down in the bag with wedges, that becomes probably a challenge too. But. Right, well, and I mean, like we said, it's just not, it's not consistent at all. Yeah. What we're looking for is consistency. Yeah. And I mean, if all of a sudden, because this thing is so whippy and so, you know, hot off the face, they're trying, to, a lot of times when they're designing women's clubs, they're trying to get them to go as far as yeah. they can. Right. So, well, you know. They're not designed for someone with your speed. Sure, sure. So, I mean, yeah, that one I swung 84 miles an hour and I mean, it went 108 feet in the air. That's pretty high. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely definitely different than than what I have. Um, I would not be able to to control this on the golf course for sure. Just yeah. tailing a little bit left. Yeah. So that one felt like a pretty good swing. You see my my face angle yeah. and my club path. Are both inside two degrees, which is, I mean, it's actually something I'm curious about. Pretty straight. Up, so, but then um, it's still 41 so saying, feet. Because yeah. look at how, I mean, your face angle is going square, in three degrees, open a degree, then closed 1.7, um, and then your, I mean, your face to path minus one, minus 6.2, minus two, minus two. I mean, yeah. You're kind of jumping around a little bit. Yeah. Um, no consistency. Which I think that's probably a little bit due to just swinging a toothpick mm -hmm. versus something you're used to. But let's go with one more shot here. Um, we'll have five, and then we'll maybe switch into your Gamer 7 iron. Hit that one felt pretty solid. That, I mean, it, those are some good shots, I got to say. <laughs> so we do have this, this one over here. We got this one over here. These three are looking pretty solid right here. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going 175 yards in the air with the seven iron. Which is not, you're, you're not used to that, right? I mean, I would, I would say I try to get it 170, upwards of 170, okay. but I mean, that's like, if I'm really catching it well, but I mean, like I said, that's, oh, it's a much straighter ball flight. When yeah. here I'm playing this sweeping draw because yeah. of this, it's definitely going to go further. It's going to run out See. more, but I'm not going to be able to, to control it. Sure. Well. We have those numbers. Those are, I mean, here's the deal. You got a really good swing. So the ball's going to go straight once in a while or, <laughs> or two or three times out of five. But those misses are probably where you're going to be concerned. And so yeah. um, let's get the, let's get the gamer. Let's All right. get five of those. Yeah. I honestly don't blame if you want to get a, like a practice swing in there too. Cause yeah. that's a totally different. I was going to, the second I picked it up, it's way, it's way heavier. Yeah. Um, way stiffer. You can see before when I went like this, it oh, was like, yeah. Zing. yeah, you could probably <laughs> see the flex on it. Yeah, so here I just have like a really good idea of kind of where the club head is throughout my whole swing. Yeah. Uh, time's up a million times better, so. Look at that. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe I'm just <laughs> a little longer today. Yeah, that was. <laughs> but that one, I mean, so. Let's see, I want to see how close that was. Okay, so we're you know, what, a, f a yard off the center line? That's yeah, it says four, four feet off the, yeah. off the center. <laughs> just kind of a, a high draw. Yeah, that's, kind of, that's definitely the shot that I try to play. Um, mm -hmm. less, less spinny, yeah. um, you know, the other one, like say if I was into the wind, 
I th this one I'd be able to to knock down nicely. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And I can hit all kinds of different shots with this. That one is like I've got one shot and it's yep. really going to be a really high. Oh yeah, that would be draw. that'd be a disaster. Even in a crosswind. Yeah. It doesn't, have to, doesn't matter what wind unless you. If the wind's going yeah. right to left. Right. And I had that club in the bag. Write me down for six. We're d we're done. <laughs> So with that one, um, I didn't quite catch it. Um, That's interesting, because I was, I was going to ask you, is it a little bit low on the face? Just a one? little low on the face, yeah. a little block, but it's, I mean, you know. No harm. Not that far. No, that's, that's the miss that we want, um, yeah. where it's going to, you know, it's going to still, like, land soft and, and be fine, as opposed to that massive miss I'd have with that other club. That was a solid sound on that one. That one felt pretty good. It's just a baby block. It's so funny. So, I mean, before, like, it was impossible. But like I said, before I switched to um, a stiffer shaft, yeah. heavier shaft, that shot never happened. It was, like, impossible. I was excited if I missed one right. Because before, <laughs> I was losing everything left. Mm -hmm. I was just hitting these big hooks. And now I can actually feel like I'm going to... Hit a yeah, draw. you're not scared to go after it because yes. the, I'm sure prior when you wanted to maybe, you were between clubs, you picked the shorter club and tried to kind of go after it, you were scared of that, mm -hmm. the overswing go and yeah. you know, hook it left. Try one more. That was really good. Already some ball speed on that one, wow. Yeah, so I mean, way more, way more ball speed with this one. It's coming off the face. It's way coming off nicer. the face pretty hot. Let's see here. Let's look at this, some of this stuff here. So um, we've got that. It's a little tighter. Look at that. We got, we hit one more shot. But it's funny that you, it's, so it's it's just funny because there's clearly a difference in in the weight, right? I mean, yeah. your if your miss is going to be far left or left mm -hmm. with the lighter club. Mm -hmm. You're not really having that problem going right. left with the with your with your set. Right. Is there right. is there, would you have a typical miss out to the to the right or left with ones you play now? Is there a typical miss or I wouldn't in I wouldn't really say there's a miss. I like yeah. to play um, just a little draw really is when I'm hitting it the best. So yeah. Um, I mean I you don't just... miss it often. In your <laughs> but one the, golfer doesn't miss very often. The but. problem is 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 for the other for the the ladies club that. Um, is just not fit to me whatsoever. I would just never have the consistency of being able to control it. When I have this one, my misses are just yeah. a lot, um, a lot less of a bad, still yeah, manageable. Less punishing. Still manageable, yeah, less punishing. Yeah. Let's go, let's get one more. We'll uh, dive into some numbers a little bit. And then we'll, I think we'll also see some pretty big differences with driver as well. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's just like. Jeez. <laughs> so you got these three are almost perfect. And these, I think you kind of miss hit both of these, didn't you? Yeah, and those I ones were just a little, right, sure, just a little, um, little, little thin, little block. So they just, they didn't go as far as like a strong high draw. Yeah. So it's just like a little um, softer, right, but still has like, uh, the ball flight is still able to cut through the wind, unlike the other. Yeah, shooting. I think it's just, it's funny we see a clear difference here. You have mm -hmm. all five of these are right of the center line. Mm -hmm. um, right. All of these are left. And I think that's probably because with this, with the uh, GLE2, the, the women's club, that, that club head catches up a lot easier. Mm -hmm. and it kind of gets almost ahead of you. Yeah. And then it turns over, and that's the concern of this, this one way over here on the left. Right. Is... You know, you get that thing turn over a little too hard, too aggressively, and it's gonna you're gonna lose control completely. Right. These ones, I mean, you're, yeah. This was not your best swing. Uh, no. You know, you know, and and the miss is a little short, and ten yards, twelve yards right. You know, mm -hmm. this one's you're over here. We're talking about thirty yards. Right. Left, so. That long, every, as everyone knows, the the short right miss is a lot better than the long left. Long in left. Terms of long left. Um, yeah. Usually that's more trouble. Yeah. So. The worst case scenario with that short right, and again, this isn't even that short right. I mean, you're probably still on the green. 30, what was it, like 35 feet right? Yeah, yeah could so, maybe still be on the green, sure. Yeah. So what I want to see, and, and it's funny actually, because the numbers actually aren't that 
that different um, in terms of distance, of spin, and all that stuff. Uh, they're actually pretty close. Uh, but right. we look at the Spurs, we see that we we see that difference. We yeah. see the control and the where the miss is punishing you with mm -hmm. the ladies club, and then where you miss, your miss is actually manageable right. with your gamers. But right. the drivers, I think, would be fun too. Yeah, I was, we'll see with the driver what that's gonna do. Yeah, because <laughs> the driver is gonna feel different, you're gonna have a totally different loft on it. We could see some big differences with this. <laughs> Let's check it out. Okay, so, Emma, you've got the, the, t t the two drivers. Uh, I mean, I already, Aesthetically, I could see a ton of differences from here, but <laughs> I know feel also, I'm sure there's it's pretty big difference between the right hand and left hand right now. Yeah, definitely. Um, same thing here, you know, it's, it's really light, again, really whippy, shaft, um, whole thing is pink. I mean, grip, <laughs> shaft, <laughs> club head, um, got a little, you know, girly font here, as we've said. And also this driver's had 11 and a half degrees. Yeah. So and that's, um, it's funny you like react that way because that's pretty standard, if not even on the low side for a lot of uh, drivers that females are playing. I mean, really? it's, that's pretty standard. And so it's funny that you react that way because that's, you know, a, a, a female playing nine degree driver is pretty rare, which I believe is what you have in your so bag. So I have a nine degree that's actually bent to an eight and a half. Okay. So I have an eight and a half degree driver and this one's at an 11 and a half degrees. So, I mean, I'm going to hit this thing so unbelievably high in the air. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. definitely not going to go anywhere close to as far as this one does. And also, I mean, get so caught up in the wind, yeah. um, not have the ball and that's speed. that's another element of this whole, really this whole video is the, we're testing in a vacuum in perfectly calm conditions with the track man here. Right. It does, there's some wind in Minnesota, uh, so, and most places that you're playing golf in a tournament, so that... Um, that would be something that you have to consider when you're getting new equipment and getting fit. So we've played in so much wind this fall. Oh my gosh, it was unbelievable. There's right. trees falling down everywhere, and I'm just trying to get my ball to go straight. <laughs> well, then uh, let's let's see if the Ping GLE2 would do that for you. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna guess no. We'll try it. We'll try it out. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no! Four left. I yeah. So, interesting on that too. Did you so did you, that one feel like it was like center face contact? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I'm 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 just wondering because that spin is still kind of high for a driver. So that's why I'm. My club path was zero and my face angle was six degrees shut. Like, that is funny. I don't know where my. I mean, you're only 142 feet and two inches left. So, <laughs> I mean, really, what's so wrong about that? But I gotta. <laughs> well, I mean, I gotta. I gotta let the loft do its thing, try to hit it a little right. higher, huh? Oh my gosh. This oh dear. <laughs> oh, that's going so far left. <laughs> that's, that is... We're reloading after okay, that. So Don't even watch it land. <laughs> Toss me another ball. <laughs> 245 feet, <laughs> three inches left. You know, we can... We <laughs> you'll, you'll have a good look from over there. Yeah, sure. That's what, I, that's what I tell my buddies when they slice one or hook one way off. Yeah, I, I think it actually really opens up over there. <laughs> it actually, it might be so far left that you have a, you're in the fairway on the next hole. Might be so far left we're, uh, <laughs> we're on a different golf course over the road. It's okay. funny how similar the spin was. Look at, I tried was. to, sw I swung eight degrees up on it and it still went that far left. Yep. Yep. Like, well, I mean, I guess it, it would make sense that it goes left if I'm swinging up on it, but like, I'm swinging up trying to keep the club face open, and it's still six degrees shot. <laughs> it is funny how consistent the, the distance was, though. I wanted to. What was the other one? Well, so <laughs> we've got. I mean, Two hundred and eleven. Oh my God, you're in the you're in the crick over here. What even is that? I didn't even know that was there on yeah. Trackman. So we've got uh, 33, 32, 33, 19. Your distances were very. I mean, your your total distance was you're almost joking. the same. But um, yeah, you're just a little bit left. <laughs> Okay, we'll try one more here, yeah. and then like I'll stop embarrassing myself. <laughs> I don't even know. Do I try? I don't even know how to like kind of attack this. Do I try to hit a cut? Try to get it to go straight? Sure, try to hit a cut. I'll try to get it to go straight. Oh man! It's just that the the face or the the club head catches up so far and actually goes ahead of your swing. <laughs> 
<laughs> I swung three degrees left. I did. I swung over the top, but, um, but the face just wouldn't open for you. It's still it still closing it for won't. you. Yeah. And I'm carrying it 204 yards. I was Your carrying face my. Angle is the same every time. That's funny. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Well, I know. Right. I know you hit the ball a lot farther than that. A lot straighter than that. So let's let's show the people. Let's show the people. Get the, the driver you're used to playing. Let's show what can happen if you actually have yeah, a club yeah, that's yeah. that's right. right. You exactly. shouldn't just grab one right off the right off the rack here. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> just so far over there. I tried to I tried to slice that one. I actually tried to slice that one and it did that. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh, this already feels so much better. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> there, Ooh. that's a little bit better, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just, I just want to bring up the visual of, for comparison purposes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, so we're Too, looking at the blue. The yeah. blue is my, uh, the ladies' drivers. Because we, we, we saw three swings. We're like, there's a trend. We're done. <laughs> um, we get your driver in hand, and you're up here. That's, well, let's just do this. You've got the one swing here. You're at 266 on average. You're averaging under 230 with this one. Um, in terms of feet off of the center, 25 versus 179. <laughs> I think that's a that's, little bit that's better. That's fine. They'll translate hit, a little better on the also, course. Also, 150 smash, uh, 145 ball speed. Those are like ideal driver numbers. It took you one swing to do that. Um, felt, so I'll leave, it, I'll leave it up to you. You can hit more and sh hit some more bombs. And uh, you can have it, maybe three of each. Sure, sure. Let me see. Uh, let's see. I mean, I mean that, that, that is going to be a tough drive to, to top. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, that will be. I mean, club path was Zero point zero. straight with a, <laughs> almost a dead straight club face, too. Yeah. That'll, I mean, can I would you, love can that. Can you top that? I could try. I swung that one 97. Let's, let's try to get 100, huh? That was tur turning, into a, turning into a long drive, trying to. Swing really good. Oh. That one was 95. A little lower. I mean, if, so, so is that, I mean, did you hit that? No, so like that solid? one I didn't, I didn't catch it. That was, I mean. I was going to say, I mean, it's 148 is still efficient strike. So yeah. you still hit it I decent, still, but. I still swung it. This is your, I guess, miss? Yeah. And I swung or, it, I swung it perfectly fine. Like, this is the same, I mean, this yeah. is a minute apart, right? I right. swung it exactly the yeah. same right. with the other club as I did with this one. Let's see if I can do something a little better. I actually swung that one slower and I was trying to swing it harder, so. Oh yeah. It draws back just a little bit, yep. Yeah. There it is. All right. Well, look at that. <laughs> I see three fairways hit with the red. Yep. I see. Even with a miss, yeah. Lots of penalty strokes over here. <laughs> or, um, yeah. So. A lot of dignity loss. Actually, so <laughs> we, we definitely, okay, major differences with the driver, right? Um, but you're, and you hit up on the ball a ton mm -hmm. with your driver, which mm -hmm. I think is part of the reason that was, you know, you have, I mean, the women play, a women's driver is not built for someone with A, that speed, but B, someone hitting up on it necessarily. Right. So. That's where you know the loft came into play and changed things. You, know, you also mentioned like it felt shut. There's probably some extra offset yeah. on that driver. Yeah. And then I mean you get that in the you know, your driver in your hands where you said the best part of your game. You're just yeah. hitting 260 bombs down the middle. Yeah. Well, for so for club manufacturers, I mean they think that dare I say they think that you know it, women maybe beginners women yeah. they can't swing the club very fast yeah so if you're coming in here you pick out a women's club they got the club face shut because you're not swinging it very fast they're yeah. trying to still you know get that get that more uh, a better ball flight that's mm -hmm. still gonna go a little bit further as opposed to if you're swinging it really slow it's really easy to yeah. lose some shots out to the right yeah um, like that so you know a lot of you know a, a lot of thought goes into making a ladies club yeah but i mean truthfully there really shouldn't even be such thing as right and, as and, a I, ladies think, club and, a and I think we at second swing try not to even call them ladies or women's clubs because sure. ultimately it's it's a it's a golf club right um i know it's pink and and it you know they they kind of give off I, don't, I mean it it looks like it's for a woman right but right. um there's 
it is compared to you, there are way more like men that should be playing that versus you, <laughs> pretty clearly. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's the whole point of, you know, especially when females come into the store, they always ask, well, where's the, you know, where do you have your female clubs? But we try to always ask them more about their game, you know, how, mm -hmm. how far they hit their clubs, um, you know, how often they play, things like that to maybe gauge, hey, maybe they actually need a regular flex or even a stiff flex shaft yeah. in, in their clubs. They don't maybe need a, a female design club. Instead, they might need, you know, the men's or kind of standard clubs out there because that's a better for them. Yeah. And I know you're a pretty, I would, I would say an extreme example because 0.0001% of golfers are that are female are hitting it like this, mm -hmm. like you do. But that's, it's, I think it goes without saying with, for a lot of players, a lot of female players, it's not always go straight to the female section. Yeah, yeah. I think you really hit the nail on the head. And I've actually, I've really spoken with a lot of women who are yeah. starting out in the game. And this is why it's so important to come and get fit because yeah. a lot of women, you know, might feel a little bit timid, you know, yeah. uh, when it comes to getting started in the game of golf. You know, it's been such a male dominated sport for so long mm -hmm. that they come in and they're like, yeah, I'm just, you know, looking to buy some ladies right. clubs. You oh, know, yeah. They don't want to bother anybody. And it's just like, I mean, women are studs. Women are awesome mm -hmm. and they're women are good at golf. Yeah. So it's like, if you come in, if you get fit, um, you know, pretty soon you're gonna be you're gonna be out there out there killing it, playing with equipment that works really well for yeah, you. Yeah, you'll so. probably be beating some of the men too. You know, uh, I wasn't gonna go there, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, I, that's why we're not out playing golf right now because I think you'd you'd probably crush me. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but I think I mean clearly the the track man told us right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you it's not about you the person or whether you're male or female. It's about your swing, mm -hmm. and so your swing dictates that you play stiff shafts mm -hmm. and you're fitting into a nine degree driver instead of a 12 degree really light flex. Right. And so I think that hopefully the viewers see that and maybe they're not even a female viewer, maybe it's a senior golfer, or maybe yeah. someone that might be losing swing speed, things like that. It's about your swing and making sure your equipment is built for your swing. And I think we showed that today. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it was fun. It was definitely, uh, definitely interesting to see the, uh, <laughs> the difference between um, hitting some right. ladies clubs and hitting my own. But I mean, it was fun and uh, it's definitely a, it was, it was kind of an interesting challenge, it but was. Well, glad it was a fun that challenge. It's, I mean, hopefully it's not totally off your game now where you're going switching from <laughs> clubs that are not near your swing to your own gamers. But Emma, thanks for joining. Uh, yeah. This was a lot of fun and I hope the viewers learn something and take it with them and start playing better golf themselves. So Emma, thanks for stopping in. Really good stuff. And uh, you know, I'm, I think they'll really enjoy this one. Yeah. Thanks so much, Drew. Really appreciate it. It was a great time.